Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, this can't be in this video. Not good. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at more Santa's reveal what children asked for Christmas. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. I had to fill in for our Santa when we were doing Santa photos. One kid sat down and said, I want a bopped head. I said, ho ho ho, that doesn't sound like a very good present. Then the woman came over and whispered in my ear, he wants to be adopted. Oh, they then explained to my wife who was taking the photos that the adoption had just gone through that day, but they were waiting to tell the kid until Christmas day. <laughs> oh, um, oh, they want to be adopted. I want adopted. I wasn't Santa, I was a helper. The worst I heard was a child asking for the sister to be happy in heaven. Punched me in the gut. That would make me sad too. When I was five years old, 49 years ago, I asked a Santa in JC Penney's at the time for a real lawn mower, the kind that my dad uses. They had me hold a microphone up to my mouth. My answer, along with every other kid, I presume, was broadcast throughout the whole store. I can still hear the laughter from the adults. <laughs> I want a lawn mower. Imagine a kid wanting that. I want a lawn mower. Why do they have to broadcast it though, you know? <laughs> really? My grandpa has a really long beard, making him the local version of Santa. Last year, we both were at a grocery store and a girl came to him. She said that she wanted my grandpa, aka Santa, to give her a tour to vanish her newborn little brother because her parents no longer give her attention she used to get. He asked her what tool she wanted and she answered, I don't know, you are older than me so you are supposed to know. Dude, we were both dying laughing all the way to our home. She wanted to get rid of her brother, you heartless. <laughs> oh my gosh. I guess that's how some kids feel when they have siblings. I wonder how my brother feel. Nah, I know. How I know this is because my mum used to vlog. Okay, so I have like lots of videos of me age like a few months till when I was four, four years old. So like she vlogged like for four years, me growing up. And I remember watching it when I was a kid or like watching it, yeah. And then my brother would always be like really, really, really nice, okay? Like he really wanted a sibling. So he treated me really nice. <laughs> it's so crazy to think about it because I'm like, wow, mom, you vlogged when like vlogging wasn't really a thing, but like you vlogged. Like she started vlogging like, Let's see, 25 years ago. I mean, I'm pretty sure other people vlog too, but like, you know, it wasn't really a thing. I was just shook. I was just like, well, mom, you did that. Awesome. I just want to say this though. My mom was so pretty. I mean, she's still pretty now, but like, I'm just saying, it's just so pretty. Like, I remember watching back and I'm just like, oh, why am I not pretty like you, mom? Kid, can you get me a little brother or sister? Santa, sure. Which one is your mom? <laughs> Which one is your mom? I had a teacher that worked a few years as a mall Santa and he said a little girl, maybe a little boy, asked him to please let daddy come home from jail. And he said it was so sad and awkward. Oh, Yeah, how do you reply to that? I guess you could say, give me a few more years, you know? If the dad's sentence was light, right? It would not age well if it was a lifetime sentence. My friend was a mall elf. There was this one Christmas letter a kid gave Santa. It said something like, please bring us a wee so my parents will stop fighting and we can all be happy again. And on the back of it, all over was written, I will obey, I will obey. I said I wanted to go to the Playboy Mansion when I was about 11. He replied with, so would I, kid. <laughs> Me too. We have the same wishes. He had one little girl who was about four years old ask him for a big, big garbage can. The request was very odd in comparison to the others he had forgotten for new toys, so he asked the little girl why she wanted the big, big garbage can. The little girl didn't hesitate for a second and told my friend that she needed the garbage can to put her father in because he was a mean man. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. That's next level for your own kid to want to put you in the garbage can because you're trash, you know? They must have done something really, really bad. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.